Hello Matrix and welcome to the 13th video on Calculus brought to you by the Answer Series. Calculus counts approximately 35 marks in Paper 1 and in this video we will look at some typical exam questions. Example number 1. I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this question yourself and then we'll do it together. One point one asks you for the derivative of f of x from first principles. So remember what happens. We get f of x plus h. We minus f of x. And it's all divided by h. Multiply the brackets out. Simplify. Take out a common factor of h. The h's cancel. And as I make h tend to zero, so my answer is equal to 2x. Now it's very easy to check your answer now that we know the rules with derivatives, but if it says to you from first principles, you have to do it in this method. Check your answer certainly, but it has to be done this way. In example 1.2.1, the first thing I do is write 5 over x, as 5x to the minus 1. I then take the derivative of each term and then I sort out the negative exponent. In 1.2.2, remember the fourth root of x can be written as x to the quarter, square the bracket, take the derivative of each term and then sort out the negative exponent. One point three, they give you a linear function. Now a linear function is a straight line. So I can write it as g of x equals mx plus c. They told me that the derivative when x is three is two. Now, the derivative of a straight line graph, if I've got g of x equals mx plus c, the derivative is simply m. It doesn't matter at what x value it is because the derivative of a straight line is constant. So the derivative when x is 3 is 2, basically means that the gradient of my straight line is 2. So my m value is 2. So I've got g of x equals 2x plus c. They told me that g of 1 is 5. In other words, when x is 1, y is 5. So in place of x goes 1, in place of y goes 5, I solve for c, and there I have got the equation of g of x. Example number two is a question on cubic graphs. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, I want you to try this whole question, and then we will do it together. They've given me the three x-intercepts. An x-intercept of minus three comes from a bracket x plus three. An x-intercept of minus three over two comes from 2x plus 3 and an x-intercept of 1 comes from a bracket x minus 1. Notice I must put an a outside the brackets. Multiply two of the brackets together, multiply the third bracket in and multiply the a in. Now you will notice that they told you you had a minus 2x cubed. So if this must be a minus 2x cubed, what must a be equal to to make this a minus 2x cubed? a must be minus 1. So substitute a is minus 1 and you get the equation of h of x which they asked you for. 2.2 asks you for the x coordinates of the turning points. Remember the turning points of any graph, you take the derivative which is there, and you make it equal to zero. Solve for x, and the question simply said to calculate the x coordinates, so that's my answer. 
2.3 says determine the values of x for which h will be decreasing. Now remember, if I want a graph to be decreasing, it means that the derivative will be less than 0. So I make the derivative less than 0, and I solve the inequality. Two point four says for which values of x will there be a tangent to the curve of h that is parallel to the line y minus four x equals seven. So if y minus four x is equal to seven, it means that y is equal to four x plus seven. Now the gradient of this graph is four. If I want a tangent that is parallel to it, it means I want the derivative to the curve to be equal to 4. So I take the derivative equals 4 and I solve the equation and I get two values of x. Example number 3 is the optimization question. So I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it and then we'll do it together. The first question asks me to determine an expression for b in terms of r. Now they told me the perimeter of the stage was 60. So to get the perimeter of the stage, I've got b, this side is 2r, that side is b, and then I have a semicircle. The formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So the formula for the circumference of a semicircle is 2 pi r divided by 2. So there I've got an expression for the perimeter of the stage. I know that this must be equal to 60. And then they asked me to determine an expression for b in terms of r. So make b the subject of the formula and you get what it is equal to. Three point two says for which value of r will the area of the stage be a maximum? So what I need to do is I need to get the area of the stage. Now the stage consists of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times breadth, so it's two r times b plus the area of a semicircle. Formula for area of a circle is pi r squared, so the semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2. I know what b is from the previous question, so I substitute that in, and I simplify the expression for the area. How do I get it to be a maximum? I take the derivative and I make it equal to 0, and I solve for r. You should now have an idea of what to expect in the calculus section of an exam paper. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series your key to exam success.